Hello, my loves. Welcome to your weekly love reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs uh, for August 23rd through the 31st. I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Let's go ahead and get shuffled up here. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have today? For my Sagittarius, please. Right. Clarity, guidance, love messages for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for August 23rd through the 31st, please. All right, my loves. So if you are currently subscribed, welcome back. If you have yet to do so, please go ahead. I keep feeling like I have to sneeze and it doesn't, this is like so annoying. I keep feeling like I have to sneeze and then I don't sneeze. Anyways, moving on. So if you are not currently subscribed, please go ahead and click that red subscribe button. I do choose multiple winners every single week for free readings. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, Palo Santo, sage, jewelry, runes, incense, crystals, um, NIV version Bibles. I give away, um, I give away uh, self-help books, any type of spiritual book, anything from Joyce Meyer, Chakra uh, Healing, Reiki Cleansing, anything that'll help you along your spiritual journey, okay? Um, in the description box below, you will find an email, manifestlove777 at gmail. Just go ahead and shoot me your YouTube name and what you would like to manifest in the giveaway, okay? I am doing a $250 giveaway. That winner will be selected randomly and will be announced the last week of the month. So that will be monthly, okay? Be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and when the winners are, are announced. You don't want to win and then just miss the reading, you know what I'm saying, or miss the shout out. So uh, make sure that notification bell is clicked, okay? All right, my loves, let's go ahead and get into your pre-shuffle message. So Sag, what I was picking up here, now this could be your energy, could be your person's energy, but someone's intuition their intuition is telling them that something isn't right here, okay? Under the deck, we've got the full card, Aries energy. Um, someone's intuition is telling them that there's competition, there's other people in the picture. I feel like there's a lot of fighting here over jealousy, okay? There's a lot of fighting here over jealousy, and then I feel like you get into arguments with this person and then you guys make peace, you come back together again, but when it comes down to actual commitment, this person seems to have this amazing way of making excuses or procrastinating and this is and you're starting to realize that this is really happening because there's someone else in the picture okay um i feel like this person uh you know just they're being burdened with these conversations of marriage or commitment because, um, you know, this person, I, I feel like they don't know if they've really found what they're looking for just yet. You know what I'm saying? They don't know if, if they've really found what they're looking for just yet. I feel like this person still feels like they need to play the field a little bit. Okay. Um, but it's interesting because there's this sense of they don't want to lose you either because every time you go to leave or anytime you start a fight with them or vice versa, guys, you know, whatever the case may be, vice versa, whenever the person that is feeling uncomfortable, like something is happening behind their back, says, oh, this is it, I want to leave, you know what I'm saying? Someone here tries to rekindle and make peace and everything. They don't, like, someone here wants to have their cake and they want to eat it too, plain and simple, okay? <laughs> That's what they want. Um they're not sure enough that they want this, you know, to be a forever thing or fully commit, but at the same time, they don't want to lose the person either. We've got dreams, okay? Um, you may see this person in your dreams. You may see certain signs in your dreams. You may have a dream here to leave this person, to retreat. You may see certain signs in your dreams or something may come to you in a dream. Spirit, what messages? do we have here for my Sagittarius please we've got magician in the mirror someone here is manifesting here someone is trying to work on something or this could be somebody is being manipulative all right let's see maybe you're manifesting in your dreams here Sag that's possible too let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others um some of you may be getting friends and family involved to try to get this person to settle down. 
Spirit, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here? Taking steps. Somebody here wants this to, they want to change the status of this connection. They want to change their title. Somebody here wants to be like girlfriend, boyfriend, fiance, uh, husband, wife, mom, dad. You know, someone here wants to move forward. I feel like maybe friends and family members are getting involved possibly. A win-win outcome is in the forecast. Now, you see, this is what I'm kind of saying, though. Like, every time you reconcile with this person, it's like they say what they say to make you happy, and then they go ahead and do what makes them happy. So everybody's happy. But at the end of the day, you come to find out that you got the shit end of this because you're not really happy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy. We have insecurity. Yeah, no matter what this person does, like, they come to you and they try to negotiate, right? Or you go to them and try to negotiate and heal the situation and fix the situation but as soon as that's done and over with you know you have that makeup sexy time and all that good stuff it's good for a few days and then you start to feel unsafe again you know what i'm saying you start to feel like something's wrong again we've got world be open to new possibilities in all areas of your life this person is keeping their options open i'm sorry someone here is open to new possibilities um i feel like we've got proposal a romantic or business opportunity is indicated um so guys i i feel like this person wants to commit to you and then at the same time they want to keep their options open i mean this clear as day this person wants to have their cake and eat it too i mean i, ju I just don't know how else to just clear as day Hacks, breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, and abandonment. And then we've got lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, and transformation. So guys, there may be a, a fight happening here that breaks out. This wanted to, oh, that wanted to just, did you see that pop out of my hand? The snake. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. That, that literally came flying out of my hand. I don't know if you guys saw that. But yeah, guys, there's, there's a third party issue here you may end up finding out the truth about this and calling it off completely um or you know what i'm saying or there's going to be a, a fight about this and and there's going to be a breakup here so let's see spirit what clarity and guidance what love messages do we have here so we have confusion quest rejection and destiny okay so i feel that someone here is confused because they don't know what direction this is going okay they don't know what direction this is going so i feel like the person will reject someone here gets mad they get jealous they get upset because they're not getting their way when it comes down to commitment so they push this person away they reject it but then they come back wanting to reconcile because they feel like this person is their destiny okay so let's see we've got the world card The Five of Cups. The King of Swords. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. The Death Card. Scorpionic Energy. Page of Swords. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. The Two of Wands. The Emperor. Aries, Taurus, Energy. And the ace of pentacles okay so guys here's the deal here's the deal someone here is obviously regretting okay someone here is obviously a karmic cycle is obviously closing out here someone obviously is regretting their actions because something here has come to a final close this is chapter over okay there's only two things that are going to happen here either this relationship is going to end or a certain pattern you see what i'm saying stop the pattern silent treatment or a certain cycle is going to end in the relationship okay one of two things is happening here now We've got the King of Swords and the Death card. So this King of Swords may be coming, normally this King of Swords is able to come up with some type of strategy to reconcile without really ever changing anything. Have you ever met people like that? They manage to talk you into, you know what I'm saying, all this stuff, and meanwhile nothing ever really changes, right? But this time is different with that death card this time there needs to be real change and this person is realizing that their back is against the wall and they have to make the decision as to whether or not they want to commit to not 
or not, okay? Because if they're going to come back and apologize, if they're going to come back and want a new beginning with you, there has to be major commitment here. And that's it, bottom line. Um, four of Swords. Queen of Wands. Leo, Sag, Aries, Energy. The Judgment card. Sagittarian Energy. The King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, Energy. Beautiful. We've got a true pair there. Okay. King and Queen of Wands. We have the Seven of Wands. Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. The Ten of Pentacles. And the Four, <laughs> the four of Cups. Okay. So listen, here's the deal. Listen, Linda. All right. What we have here is someone here is healing because they're really upset maybe they found out a certain truth or maybe whatever someone here is just in a state of healing okay they don't want to talk they don't want to do anything they're just healing okay um i feel like with the judgment card here someone is coming in wanting a second chance this is a true pair it is a true soul tie here a true soul contract with the seven of wands and the page of pentacles someone here is blocking an apology or doesn't want to hear about an apology unless a ten of pentacles is get i don't want your tiny ass little pentacle okay <laughs> like someone's like i don't want this tiny ass little apology okay if it ain't if it's not a ten of pentacles i don't even want it if it's not all 10 of your pentacles, I don't even want it. Don't call me. You see what I'm saying? So someone here is saying, if you're not going to fully commit, don't even talk. We're not even going to sit down and have this conversation. If it's not about wedding plans, <laughs> if it's not about what house are we going to buy, if it's not about, you know, what that would, are we, are we going engagement ring shopping? What are we doing here? Unless it's that type of conversation, don't call me. You know what I'm saying? So spirit, tell me about this world card, please. The Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy, Five of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. Okay, King of Swords, the Emperor, Aries, Taurus, Energy, the Death card, and the Hermit. Okay, Virgo, Energy. So someone here made a very impulsive and reckless decision that caused something to end here. Like I said, either the relationship or it's game over with, you know what I'm saying, with the games, you know? Um five of cups and the eight of wands this is somebody coming in with communication that they regret something someone here may regret talking to a third party someone may regret having multiple sexual encounters with a third party um with the king of swords and the emperor like i said up until now one person has been in control of this situation okay but that has changed because with the hermit here someone here has withdrawn their energy page of swords and the seven of wands someone here is seeing that truth because you see the seven of wands is right here they're being blocked okay two of wands and the devil card capricorn energy someone here needs to make a decision okay do they want to keep giving into lust and temptation or whatever this addiction is or whatever or do they want to have a solid committed relationship emperor and the page of pentacles do they want to be a husband do they want to be a father do they want to be a wife do they want to be a mother ace of pentacles and the ten of pentacles i'm telling you right now dude if you're not coming here with all your ten pentacles you can go home <laughs> you know what i'm saying like you know someone here is like this emperor is trying to come in with this one little pentacle he really is like you know what i'm saying he's trying to come in and offer that one little pentacle page of pentacles right here that he's always offered before but with the ace of pentacles they're being told this emperor being told listen don't call me do not there's there will be no new beginning unless i get all 10 of your pentacles end of discussion like end of discussion four of swords queen of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo energy the queen of wands with the full card aries energy the judgment card and the ace of swords king of wands and the page of wands leo sag aries energy so guys what we have happening here is someone is healing they're breaking away they're becoming see that that queen of pentacles can be married okay she can be can be a single mother also um but that queen of pentacles is very independent she doesn't need anybody okay and that queen of wands energy also very independent energy with the full card here someone is moving on they're like listen i'm not dealing with this um and then and then you know we get a message here somebody comes in swiftly quickly wanting reconciliation we've got this king of wands coming in now wanting to talk 
okay wanting to win you back wanting victory in this situation okay but the problem here is is there there's not going to be any no one wins i'm winning that's it that's the only person that's winning here seven of wands and the five of wands yeah someone here is 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 done with the drama the jealousy the strife the competition someone's done page of pentacles and the uh the wheel of fortune if you're not coming here to offer me what i want if, if you're not if i'm not hitting the jackpot when i pick up this phone we're done you know what i'm saying ten of pentacles and the judgment card if you want a second chance all ten of your pentacles four of cups i'm not dealing with no player no more i am not dealing with this player as non-committal energy no leo sag aries energy four of cups that that offers being rejected if you're gonna come at me i'm gonna get what i want <laughs> if you're gonna come at me i'm gonna get what i want aquarian energy and that's it end of discussion uh, end of discussion we're done like you know what i'm saying it's like it's either going to be my way or the highway that's it done the challenge here is the ten of wands and the hanged man piscean energy um someone here is trying to wait the other person out okay so this emperor might be trying to wait out uh this queen of wands here you know hoping that they'll give in not going to happen not going to happen. And this queen of wands here has stalled the connection because they've had enough. Okay, so that's the challenge on both sides. The outcome here is the six of wands and the ace of cups. Someone's going to get the, what they want. If someone here wants to rekindle, if someone here wants to start this new beginning in love, um, someone is going to get their way and that's it. So Sag, I feel like you may be winning this battle. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's see here. Spirit, tell me about this ace of cups. The three of wands, they're missing you, Sag. They're missing you. The six of wands and the six of pentacles. And the king of pentacles. Okay, that's it. We're done here. Yeah, someone here has a lot of regret. They know this is really over. Their intuition is telling them that they're about to get cut out of the picture if they don't do something you know what I'm saying? If they don't do something, this is over. They realize that. Okay. So what we have here, someone is missing your love. Okay, someone is missing your love. Someone here wants to rekindle, Sag, um, or you want to rekindle. And here we have that King of Wands coming in, offering <laughs> whatever it is this person wanted, okay, with that Six of Wands. Six of Wands is a victory card. It's got, okay, you win. You win. What is it that you want from my life? You know what I'm saying? You win. So that's it. Someone here, it's my way or the highway. All right, guys, I love you. Bye.